A local couple is recounting the devastation of losing their daughter to a life of drug addiction and sex trafficking. As part of our No Child Sold series in partnership with Ransom Life, they are sharing some of the lengths they went through to rescue their daughter from the streets. It's a life. Our world was spinning out of control. No parent should have to experience. How do we make sense of this? All of a sudden we've got like I'm, she's on Craigslist and I'm like, what do I do with my daughter? Their daughter, who we are only identifying as Britta, dropped out of college when she was 18. At that point, she was homeless, basically living in different homes. The couple is talking about how they lost Britta to a life of drug addiction and sex trafficking. She would call these people her friends. The, her devotion to the people that are hurting her. She definitely left many times trying to make the right steps. Uh, the only time she was showing that she wanted to return to these difficult things was just after back with drugs. Elsa and Charles are recalling some of the rescues to save their daughter from the streets. One of them in Los Angeles, face to face with a trafficker. I want, we want our daughter. This is another one where we're fighting to get our daughter back from another brute that's got our daughter. Charles goes to try and rescue our daughter again. This big muscle guy beats my husband, beats and beats and beats and beats and beats him. And Charles just takes it, just takes the beating nonstop until the guy is tired. And then he says, okay, now give me my daughter. Britta's in the shower, drugged up. And he's like, hey, dad. And so he just wraps her in a towel. He wraps her in a towel, puts her in the car and picks me up. And we go to the airport. The rescues went on for six years. Elsa and Charles say the drugs kept Britta going back. She told me a story of dad. I, I, I locked myself in the bathroom so I would not go get drugs. And it was killing me all night to stay in the bathroom. She so would tell stories like that. So the, the addictions can be so strong. Britta was only 24 years old when she died of an overdose in Florida. The couple is now raising awareness with other parents on the dangers and the challenges they experienced. We're talking about things that happened very subtly over the course of time. So as far as the education, it is so so important that all parents are hearing. These are these are things every one of us needs to learn. We were intentional about every zip code we ever lived in. When Britta was in addiction, I ended up walking the streets with a lot of addicts. And I found out that the prostitutes and the drug addicts are somebody else's daughters and somebody else's sons. They're real people that are hurting. It's a reality children and teens are victims of every day. So the perpetrators know if they can get somebody hooked on drugs, that's why we have to be vigilant. Nonprofits like Ransom Life are on a mission to share resources with families and support survivors through counseling and mentoring. They trust this person that they're communicating with. And that's what's really terrifying when you think about it. And that's the reason that almost every kid is at risk of being trafficked. We're hoping that by educating San Antonio and by increasing vigilance, that more crimes will be reported more potential victims will be saved before it's too late. It's awareness Charles and Elsa want every parent to know about. I did everything I was physically able to do, and uh, I definitely dreamed of a different result. Absolutely heartbreaking to hear their words. And Charles and Elsa are using their tragedy to make sure other families don't have to go through the same thing they did. Make sure to head to foxsanantonio.com to see some of the warning signs they say every parent needs to look out for. You will also find more information and links on Ransom Life's No Child Sold campaign.